Namaste. I appreciate your interest for this course on advances in strategic human resource management. We need to recognize that like product and services, competitive advantage of business organizations also go through a life cycle. So business firms have to either keep on investing in their existing product and services to extend the life of competitive advantage or keep discovering and launching new product and services to gain the competitive advantage at the marketplace. For that purpose, all the functions of organizations, whether it is marketing, operations, supply chain, IT, MIS, finance, all have to pitch in. And this course is about how HR function can contribute to enhance or to continue organization to enjoy their competitive advantage. We all know that technology is changing and along with that psychographic profile, customer taste, regulations, all those are also changing. In this changing context, what are the right frameworks, what are the potential frameworks, theories, concepts and practices which can make the HR to contribute to the strategic success of organization, this is the essence of this course. So we are going to look at frameworks like capability maturity model, we are going to look at the humanistic management approach, these are some of the examples of frameworks we are going to discuss in this course which can contribute, which makes the HR function as a source of competitive advantage for the firms. We are also going to look at how the new science of positive psychology converted into positive organization scholarship and how can that add value to HR function. So practices of diversity and inclusion, how multiple generations can be managed at workplace what are the ways, what are the best ways of managing HR in startup firms or gig economy firms or family owned firms? These are the new questions of our time. That's why this course is called Advances in SHRM because it looks at the questions which are thrown by the fast changing business context for the business organizations. We are also going to look at how HR function can contribute to the people and uh, planet along with the profit of the business economy firm. Towards the end, we are going to look at the HR analytics. For HR analytics, we need to know how business processes and HR processes are linked and how to measure the effectiveness of the HR processes.